Hi guys, Rob here and today I'm going to show you the top 10 resorts here in Boracay, including this incredible villa right behind me. Blessed with stunning beaches, Boracay has constantly been ranked as one of the world's best islands to visit. Welcome to Boracay, a world-class holiday destination in the heart of the Philippines. This is paradise. And the island has some amazing places to stay. And in this video, I'm going to count them down from 10 to 1. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to Aqua Boracay. Coming in at number 10 is Aqua Boracay, located at Bulabong Beach. It's about 10 minute walk from the Demo or White Beach. The resort also offers free transfers if you wish. The pools just look really good, set up with lounge chairs and umbrellas. It's just sublime. So behind me is their main swimming pool. They've got, actually got two swimming pools here. It looks quite stylish, this swimming pool. And you've got all the rooms around here. I think there's 138 rooms, I believe. So the second of their swimming pools. Now they've got a bit of a wind break here because this is the side the wind blows at this time of year. So it blows in into the pool, the stuff on the beach. right on the beach here as you can see there's all the kite surfing here which is popular around this time of year you get all the monsoonal winds blowing in this direction so perfect for kite flying this is one of two restaurants this one actually at the moment is temporarily closed the food I tried was not too bad at all the dishes they do serve are more swayed towards local dishes but there's reasonable enough choices for breakfast I had the American but without the bacon Here's a look at the menu for your reference, including the breakfast options. Aqua has a gym and it also has a spa on site. Welcome to the Miss Spa, sir. The good one is thermal therapy, sir. It's a Helot Filipino therapy and Lumi, Lumi Lumi therapy, sir. This is good for your body, sir. Looking at the rooms, the lead in is their deluxe rooms. They're quite spacious at 42 square meters. They come in configuration of either two singles or one king bed. There's a little area for coffee and tea making and there's also a sink. Everything is brand new, so it looks good. The garden views from the rooms are pretty ordinary. The bathrooms are modern and spacious as well. Toiletries and it comes with a rain shower. Obviously the suite rooms offer more space and comfort. They come in either one bedroom or two bedroom premier suite. This is a two bedroom suite with pool view. Look at those views, whoa. Hard to get tired of that. My room's balcony wrapped around the corner. So with this two bedroom suite, I've got a semi view of the ocean over there and then also the swimming pools. The main living area is so spacious. The whole two bedroom suite is 145 square meters. Just love the huge couch to relax in front of the TV. Then as we move into the first bedroom, decent size, not a lot in the way of amenities, just a bed, cabinets and TV. One of the cabinet doors was blocked a bit by the bed table. As we move out to the next door, this is the bathroom. A nice bathroom with both bathtub and shower. The main bedroom at the end of the hallway is a little nicer, but other than that, it's much the same. Can't complain, nice room to stay at. The second bathroom was a carbon copy of the first bathroom I showed already, so no issues. Definitely all nice. And if you need something a little bit more special, they've got the president suites that has their own private pool. So to book, you can do it via their website. On screen you can see the room types and the prices. They're also on third party sites like Agoda or Booking.com. When I did check, it was pretty much the same price. They're also on Facebook where you can check the latest promos and updates. Actually all the resorts I'm gonna show have their own social media accounts for updates, so I won't show them any more in the video. A really swank resort to stay in Boracay. Coming in at number nine is Coast Boracay, located at station two on White Beach. It's a handy location if you want to be close to all the action, restaurants and cafes, etc. Beach front, got some palm trees, and then Boracay's gorgeous beaches. At the front of the resort is Cha Cha's, a really quirky restaurant and bar that you should check out. Just perfectly set up so you can sit back with a drink and admire one of the best beaches in the world. Listen to some live music at night, and most importantly, enjoy the delicious food here. I had the Vietnamese barbecue pork bowl. This is delicious. There's lots of great dishes you can try here. For breakfast, I had a buffet style setup. It's not too bad. 
It wasn't overly huge by any means, but I think it had enough choice and variety to keep most people happy. There was hot dishes, fruits and salads, as well as breads. If you're interested, here's a copy of the colorful menu that they have. Keep in mind it can get quite busy here as well, especially outside by the beach. So let's look at the resort. It's a 71 roomed establishment with two swimming pools. Facilities include a spa. So this is the gym and games rooms. Quite small though. In the corner you've got some board games and some books to read. Good for those rainy days to keep you occupied. The minimalistic colors to the resort, just a white and black. Just looks a really stylish and sophisticated resort. Very contemporary looking and that goes with the rooms as well. Pools are beautifully decorated and it looks really fancy. It's a great place to enjoy your vacation with a bit of class and style. If you want to do something special, they can set up the tables by the pool at night with all the light. It just looks really good. The rooms are located in the three-story buildings that run on each side of the pools. So this is the deluxe room. It's a nice, stylish, contemporary looking room. The decor and color are designed by locals. I really like the design. Each room has huge windows to let lots of light in. It's a really fresh and cool look to the rooms and it works really well. And the same can be said about their bathrooms. So on one side of the bathroom is the toilet and the other side is the shower. All up, it feels modern and stylish. The bedside table has some chalk nuts which are just really addictive. This one's the Premier room. The difference between the Deluxe and Premier are very subtle. They're actually both the same size at 25 square meters and the only real difference is the Premier has more vibrant and contemporary interior designs. And for some reason, you have to pay extra for that. So everything else I said about the Deluxe room is the same. Anyway, a thumbs up from me. For more details and prices, you can check their website and you can also book it directly with them. Third party sites like TripAdvisor, it was a little cheaper. Find Hotels is just another search engine that took me to trip.com. So do your due diligence to find the best rates. Just an FYI, be careful of the website guest reservations. They put the name of the hotel first and then their website. It's actually not the hotel's website. And if you book through them, you're gonna pay thousands more. So coming in at number eight is the Ahana Boracay, a huge upmarket beach resort at station three. It gets its name from the Polynesian word for family. And it is definitely a family friendly resort, but it does cater for all types of tourists. Just look at this grand entrance when you come into the lobby. Got the chandeliers. You walk through the gates here, it's like in a palace. Look at this coming here. You've got chandeliers and it's just very grandeur. Well, look at this, fancy. This is a VIP room, so if you're waiting for your room or your flight or something, you can just relax in here. Look, really fancy. You feel like you're the king and queen. And the kids' play area looks pretty awesome. Got a tent, all these chairs set up. Looks pretty cool. Wish I was a kid. So this is a lobby lounge, and it looks like a place where you just have your high tea, very fancy and flash. I feel like I should drink my coffee with my little pinky. Oh, I think I'll drop it. So here they have live music as well as some great food. Those oysters mm, were so good. I had the steak with mashed potato. Expensive, but nice. One night they had some traditional dances and they do encourage guests to try out this dance if you're game. For breakfast they have a buffet and it's not too bad. A nice selection of dishes. There's a chef also to cook your eggs to your order. So you get the hot dishes, pastries, fresh fruits, salad, as well as some cold cuts. They also have a restaurant by the beach called The Porch for some casual dining. It's nice to sit outside and feel the ocean breeze while you eat. And here's a copy of the menu. And even the golf carts that they take you around have been converted to look like BMWs. <laughs> Pretty cool. The seats in the car are made of leather. Pretty flashy. Because this place is so huge, you will need one of these to get around. So this is the main pool, Tranquility, and it's quite large. I think it looks pretty good. This is their third pool, which is by the ocean here. You can see beautiful views. 
Actually, when I stayed, I didn't get great weather as there was a low pressure system passing by. This is their front beach area, and as you can see, it's not so crowded at Station 3. So I've just come back a few days later and had some gorgeous weather. So this is what the ocean should look like here when it's nice weather. Looks gorgeous. They have their own chapel here that you can get married on the property. How's that? So looking inside the chapel, this is what it looks like. This wall was actually hand painted by a local here. Next to the chapel is a viewing deck, which gives you, as you can see, a beautiful view of White Beach Barakai, you can see behind me here. Yeah. Alhana Garden, this is good for wedding reception. Like after you got the ceremony here, reception will be here. Special kids pool, it's only one to two feet deep, so for kids. And at the back you can see there's a kids club. So it's a very family friendly resort here. Alhana actually means family. So. so the kids can really enjoy this resort. Lots of things for them to do. This is the spa and some of their treatments they offer. This is the games room, which has a pool table, table tennis, and behind there's even a theater. And if you want to work out, they have a gym. So just behind me here is their beach club, which is going to be a restaurant that's open for walk-ins from the beach. They're going to have cocktails here, food. Looking now at the rooms, I stayed at their beachfront premier sea view. Really nice room. It's 50 square meters in size and it comes with a king bed. There's also a work desk, 10 coffee facilities and mini bar. There was free Wi-Fi. There was a wardrobe with safe and robes. The bathroom was nice as well. Not quite as spacious as the room though. Modern clean shower and there was a window looking in towards the bedroom. So this is the beachfront premier CV room which gives you some fantastic views of the ocean if the weather is good. Unfortunately I'm here and it's bucketing down rain all day so hopefully tomorrow and get some better weather and I can show you the amazing views that you can get here. Otherwise, picture in a beautiful <laughs> beach with the sun shining. So this beach resort is located on Station 3, which is a quieter area on White Beach. And what I like about the views from this room is it's pretty uninhibited views that you're gonna get of the ocean here. The, the buildings are quite low, so you can see the palm trees, you can see the sand, you can see the waters, just gorgeous. So for the two days, the weather was definitely disappointing. So this is the junior suite offering 61 square meters. So if you want that extra space, this may suit you. The bathroom comes also with a tub in this room type. So behind me are their villas, which has a dipping pool that you can see behind me. Unfortunately, the rooms are fully booked at the moment. It's Holly Week, so I can't really show them. When I tried to book on their website, it only allowed me to book with a minimum of two nights. Not sure if that's all the time, otherwise you can book through third party sites like Agoda or TripAdvisor and they will let you book overnight. Anyhow, these are the different room rates at the time of making this video. So overall a great resort on the quieter side of White Beach. It's big, luxurious and makes for a fantastic stay. And welcome to the Moven Peak Barakai. Look how gorgeous this looks. This one's located on Station Zero at the top end of Boracay. Imagine inserting yourself here to watch the sunsets over here in the west. And not necessarily for sunset either, look at this. Got a bit of shade from the coconut trees. And look at that view. So we're just right in the center of, to the left, the Shangri-La and to the right, the Crimson Resort. And as you can see, if I spin around, it's pretty quiet here, so you don't have all the crowds of White Beach. And if you see my other parts of the video, this beach is not quite as good as the one at White Beach. It's not quite as fine sand, but I think you can see it's still pretty good. When you get beautiful weather, it's just amazing. So it's actually got one of the largest, if not the largest, swimming pool here in Barakai. And it just looks good too. And you have so much space that hopefully no one will ever get in your way. They've set up the beachfront in a way that you can enjoy the picturesque views at its best. With all these resorts, it has a beach bar. So I'm just having a drink. You can see behind me the bar, hopefully. Believe it or not, this is non-alcoholic. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh. 
Yeah, it's just nice and relaxing to sit by the beach here, getting the sea breeze. You will get the sunset here, so hopefully I can get some good photos. And I did. The sunsets here are so good. Try not to miss out. And they do offer some water sports. There's some kayaks in front of me there. And there's some people on paddle boards. Every afternoon here they have, it's like a happy hour for chocoholics. You've got all these sweets that you can have all for free. If you're on a diet, don't come here. Oh my God, it was so good. And it doesn't last long, it's gone. Really, 20 minutes, nothing left. I haven't seen this done in other resorts, so I think it's a really good idea. They need to extend the hours to 24 seven for this. And for those few moments, I just didn't want to talk to anybody. For other food options, they have an Italian restaurant conveniently located next to the pool, which serves up some really good pizzas. Overall, the food was pretty decent, but I have to admit that I did like the nearby Shangri-La and Crimson's food better. Anyhow, you had a mix of both international and local cuisines. Breakfast was a buffet, and it was a fairly good breakfast. I was happy with the variety of selection that you had. Anyhow, you can see on screen all the different types of dishes that they were offering. After the chocolates the night before, I tried a more healthier option for breakfast, just out of guilt. Because this resort is quite far from White Beach and the Demore, they do have a scheduled service to the Demore. Other facilities at the resort include a gym and a spa. I just had a quick look into one of their treatment rooms. And just quickly, here are some of the treatments they do offer. There's a gift shop and also a kids club. If you want a special dinner by the ocean, they can organize this as well. The rooms start from their classic, which come in either a queen bed or twin bed setup. They're okay, clean, but nothing fancy. Not much of a view from the balcony, but they do provide decent enough accommodation. This is the Superior King Sea View. In this one, it's actually set up with an extra bed. It has a balcony overlooking the ocean or partial view of the ocean in the distance. And the bathroom here was decent enough. For more space, try their premier rooms at 45 square meters. This is the Sea View Premier King Room with a lot more room. Obviously with the sea view, you get a balcony which has a great view of the ocean. This is the front of the junior suite. It comes in at 56 square meters. And as you can walk in, you can see that extra space. King size bed, it had a couch at the front and an ensuite bathroom. The bathroom is quite spacious. And as you see, you get a bathtub as well as a shower. If I was to nitpick, the room is a little bit dated, but really I didn't think there was anything major to complain about. So this is the junior suite, most notable features here. Two TVs, so you can watch your football and your partner can watch some K-dramas or whatever they wanna watch. So you get a nice little balcony here. You can see the swimming pool over there and you get a bit of the beach view through the coconut trees. The final room I stayed at, which was just incredible, was the Seoul Marina Beach Suite. As soon as you walk in this room, you can see how grand it is. Table at the front, then a couch at the back. It's got a huge living area that you can see in front of me. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the best views of the beach. And what I like, they've got some bubbly here for me, chilled. It's gonna be good for sitting out on the balcony watching the sunset. It comes with the usual tea and coffee making facilities with the standard mini bar. This is the main bedroom with a king bed. It's a good sized room. And this one also looks just a tad old, but I didn't have any issues with wear and tear. There's a wardrobe and safe. The bathroom had a separate bathtub and shower. Other features are pretty much stock standard. So there's a balcony out the front of the main bedroom, out of the living area, and then the far one is the other bedrooms. This is the view from the balcony. Pretty nice, huh? Looking out the second bedroom, this had a twin bed set up. The bathroom was identical to the other. The website will provide more info on the resort as well as the room types and prices. If you're a Cord member, you can get cheaper rates. Here's a quick rundown of the room rates. This is without the taxes. You can also check your favorite third party booking site, even just to compare the rates. Overall, a wonderful resort. It's away from the busier White Beach, so it makes for a quieter stay if that's what you're looking for.
So of the three resorts here on Station Zero, the Movin Peak is definitely the weaker of the three. It's still a nice resort, but it's just a notch down from the other two here. Those other two I'll show you later in the video. Today I'm coming from Hen and Crystal Sands. We're going to check this resort out in more details. Welcome to Hen and Crystal Sands. Enjoy your stay. Located on Station One, this is my most favourite Henan Resort in Barakai. And I will do a separate video ranking all seven Henans in Barakai in a future video. So this resort looks really stylish. You've got the two thin rectangular shaped pools that meander up there. And then at the front they've got an infinity swimming pool which looks over the ocean there. It's just magnificent. So there's a little walkway in between the two pools here. You can walk your way up to the, the beach area. I like it, I like it. It just looks really cool. Probably making the swimming pools a little bit smaller though. It does make the pool shape very unique and it saves you from walking around to get to the beachfront. So this is their sky pool or affinity pool here. I personally think this is one of the best pools on White Beach. It's built perfectly for you to enjoy the pool as well as getting some of the best views of White Beach. That view, huh? Paradise. So this is the highlight of Crystal Sands is their infinity swimming pool here overlooking the beach here so you can see the people coming out and also into the west you've got some of those amazing Boracay sunsets. And just how the pool is set up it's just so stylish. Just what you imagine in one of those movies on a tropical vacation this is it. And if you like to party on the weekends they have some pool parties here. What well, you come to Boracay for views like this look at that just like in a postcard. So here we have the perfect combination. Drinks, lounge chairs, infinity swimming pool, overlooking the beach, and the sun setting in the west. What more could you want? Oh, a cocktail. And this rooftop pool makes for a great sunset picture with a cocktail or a beer. Cheers. Drink or two pop up by the pool bar here. At sunset, it's just perfect to sit in the pool and relish those amazing colours in the sky. Not sure if you can see those sail boats in the distance. That's a very popular thing to do at sunset. Head into one of those boats and enjoy Boracay's best sunset. After all those drinks, make sure to hit the gym after. If the pool isn't enough, the resort is on the doorstep of that amazing white sandy beach. At their restaurant, the Sapphire, which prime location right on the beachfront. At nighttime, they have an acoustic band playing or a singer. Better way to have lunch by the beach. The a la carte food is good, but the buffets are what the Henan resorts are famous for in Boracay. For me, on White Beach anyhow, Henan has to have the best buffets by far. They've got such a good selection of all types of cuisine, but they are always busy as it's such a popular buffet. Not all Henan buffets are the same though, and I'll show you that in my other video. And also for breakfast, they serve up a buffet, and the same applies of what I just said. If you want to beat the crowds, best to get up early in the morning. Definite thumbs up. Looking at the rooms, this is the Premier Beach View room. It was on the top floor in the corner, a nice clean room. Their leading room is the deluxe room, which unfortunately I wasn't able to book due to availability. So to the left of me is a view of the swimming pool, or one of the swimming pools, and then you've got a balcony out that door. So let me just take you out onto the balcony here. So this is my balcony view. To my left is the beachfront area. They've got a little restaurant at the front there. In the front of the room they had space for your luggage and hanging facilities. Decent sized bathroom and it had a bathtub as well as a shower. I've always been happy to stay at the Hennens as you know what you're going to get in the room types and they're always of a high quality. So this room is just the premier room. This was also on the corner but at a lower level so you didn't have quite the same views. I just had views of the pool. The setup was a little different but overall pretty much the same. Good room basically. The balcony overlooking the pool here. A nice view. Last time I stayed here I stayed at that room in the corner there that's the sea view premiere I think. For pricing check out their website you can see all the different room rates. If you book direct with them they have the option of adding transfers at extra cost. It was just a slightly different price on third party sites. So rates have slowly been increasing since the Philippines reopened to tourism 
As a comparison, when I stayed here before the pandemic, you can see how much the rates have changed. Overall, in my opinion, this is the best Henan you can stay at in Boracay. Hey, it's Rob here and welcome to the Lin Boracay, a five-star luxury resort right on the beach. Let's check it out. Located right on one of the best locations in Station 1. If they could only put a T at the end of that, oh, it would be mouth watering chocolate. This is a beautiful luxury resort. As you can see, it's on a gorgeous spot of the beach. Can you picture yourself on one of those lounge chairs with a pina colada? You won't want to go home. This is their main pool. It's not particularly large, it's in separated in sections, so I guess not the greatest for doing laps or anything. This is the biggest area here. With its modern design, the brightly coloured umbrellas, the coconut trees. It does look pretty stylish. So let's look upstairs. So behind me is the infinity swim pool, which I'll show in a moment. And then they've got I think five or six cabanas here to chill out. Got music playing, a bit of shade. And then to the left of me are the rooms. And obviously this pool is built for the views. You can see White Beach just down there. So this is perfect for watching Boracay's green algae, perfect views. And it's not always algae. This is the video I took when I stayed there last time and you can just see how beautiful it looks. So this is one of their two restaurants. This is more of a cafe or so light snack. So if I'm not drinking, eating or sleeping, I'm here for sure at the gym. Other facilities here include a kids play area, a shop and there's a spa. And here are some of the massage treatments they offer. They also offer a scheduled shuttle service back and forth to Dimor for shopping and restaurants. The resort looks good with the lights on at night. The food here is really good. All the dishes I tried were delicious. My favourite was that seafood pizza. It was just so nice. The Asian cuisines I just couldn't get enough of. As with most of the larger resorts here, breakfast was a buffet. The buffet quality was good, although not quite as large as the Henans. I think you'll be pretty satisfied with the dishes that were available. I mean, you are staying at a luxury resort, so you do kind of expect it. There's also a chef there if you wanted to cook something like omelettes. It's also worth noting the staff here are really good as well. For sweet tooth, there's cakes at the front that you can purchase. Here's a copy of the menu for your reference. This is the sea room located on the higher floors, offering views of the sea. As expected, it's a nice, luxurious room comfortable bed and spacious and very contemporary looking. It's what I look for in an upmarket resort or hotel. There's also a wardrobe with safe robes and hangers. On the balcony you can see you get some awesome views. The bathroom too is stylish, clean and all the facilities here were modern. I really liked it. The C Premier are more spacious rooms ranging from 77 to 101 square metres as each room slightly different. At the front there's a little alcove moving into the main bedroom. You can see it just looks really good. Contemporary design just makes it stand out. A sofa to one side, really comfortable room to stay at. The bathroom is equally impressive, nice and stylish. By the shower there are huge glass windows so you can show the world what you've got or rather what you don't. You can pull the blinds down though if you're shy. The room opens up to this balcony. Look at the space you've got in this balcony, it's just huge. And not only that, we get some magnificent views. You've got the swimming pool down there. You can see the infinity pool. And you've got well, a semi-view of the ocean, but it's good enough. You can see the boats and all that, and the water's just beautiful. So let me show you one of their most awesome rooms here, the sea room with pool. If you've got the money, this room may be worth looking at. It's actually fairly much the same design as the sea premier, just a few subtle differences. Like the couch was in a different location. So everything else I said before, that room applies here. An excellent place to stay if you want comfort and style. And of course, it's what's on the balcony that you book this room for. Although the bathroom here wasn't facing the balcony like in the other one. It has a rain shower as well. So this is a sea room with pool. Now you get a balcony that overlooks the ocean. Obviously it's not 100% uninhibited though. You've got a bit of buildings and trees in the way, but still magnificent view. And then over in the corner here, you have the actual plunge pool. I wish it actually was here. It would have been able to get better views. Maybe the structure of the building doesn't take that, but I'll show you this in a sec. So this is the little pool stuck in the corner here. So it's only four foot. 
you do get a little bit of a view at over here. But for me, I would have personally loved it smack in the middle there. Would have given the best views from the balcony here. Anyway, it is what it is. Still pretty nice. On the website, you can get more information on the room types. There's lots. The rooms here are pricey, so that's one thing you're really gonna have to take into consideration. It's a beautiful resort, but you know, those prices, personally I do think they're a bit overinflated for what you get. Boracay in general is a very pricey place. Overall, if money isn't an object and you want one of the best resorts on the island, you have to take a serious look at this resort. Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome to Asha Premier Suites, located at the quieter end of White Beach at Station 3. An upmarket resort here in Boracay if you want to splurge a bit or splurge a lot. So this is their stylish looking pool. It's actually just a round circular shape and then you've got all the villas surrounding it. And in front is the beach. You can't really see that through all the bushes though. The pool looks really classy. Can you picture yourself sitting by this pool with around only 20 rooms? It makes for a more secluded and more intimate stay. Welcome to the presidential suite where you can feel like a president. The villa is enormous. I like the large windows to allow lots of natural lighting, but the decor here is a bit meh. Come on guys, this is the 2020s, not the 1500s. But that's only really nitpicking. You're in for a real luxurious stay here. Other than that, all the other amenities that you expect from a upmarket resort are here in the room. Just look at the bathroom behind me, it's incredible, it's huge. I've stayed at hotel rooms which are smaller than this. It comes with a bathtub and there's a TV and in the corner there's a shower. It does beg the question, is it too big? It's so much space. Other than it's a little bit old looking, it's a really nice bathroom. I think it'd be perfect lazing in that tub, watching TV. Outside they have a beautiful setup on the veranda with tables and chairs, but the piece de resistance is the private pool that you have here. It's surrounded by lush greenery. It's just so serene. You've got the view over the ocean. Paradise, oh, what more could you want? What a special place to spend your holiday. On site they have a restaurant. The menu itself is actually online. The food I tried was real good. One night I did try the room service. Due to their protocols with COVID, they come in fast food packages. A little bit tacky, but the food did taste good. Breakfast was a little bit special, nicely presented, and it was a real treat to eat. So today is a much better day, as you can see. Blue skies, the water looks gorgeous. What I also like is it's up the quieter end of White Beach. Less crowd, less noise big tick for me. So this is one of my favorite resorts here in Boracay. It's stylish, you know, it's up market. Obviously it's expensive, so it's not gonna be for everybody. But if you got the money, this is definitely worth looking into. So I think this resort would go really well, particularly for couples. Obviously the website has more details. At the time of making this video, you had to email them for prices. So I did that and on screen are their current prices. You can also book through third party sites. Now we're heading into my top three, and these are gonna blow you away. For me, they're in a league of their own. This is Discovery Shores. This luxury resort is located at Station One. So if you're looking for a bit of style and sophistication, Discovery Shores may be the one for you. And it's right on the gorgeous beachfront. The sugary white sand, swaying coconut trees, gorgeous tropical waters are all at your doorstep here. And if you get tired of swimming in Boracay's beautiful tropical waters, you can head over to the resort's stylish swimming pool. So to the left of me is their swimming pool, which has a pool bar at the far end as well. The place looks modern and sophisticated. There's even a waterfall at this resort. And on top of the falls is a wishing stone. So this is a wish stone. Dip it in the water. I can't show you my wish though. Okay, if it comes true, I'll let you know later. Facilities include a gym, there's a beach bar that serves up nice cocktails, which you know, I have to taste test. They also have a restaurant here so you can enjoy the views with the food. And the food here was good. Breakfast was a buffet. The food actually was behind plastic panels so it was a bit hard to film. Nonetheless, it was a pretty good buffet with plenty of choice, hot and cold dishes, and the egg stations so you could get your eggs cooked how you liked. They also have on the other side a cafe set up to take advantage 
of the beautiful views of the ocean while you sip on a latte. If you're staying here, do not miss out on the 360 roof deck. I'll show you why. So I'm at the 360 rooftop bar here. Now this has amazing views of White Beach. So you got places to lounge around, places with shade. You've got the infinity swimming pool and there's a bar up here. It looks like people been doing exercises. So the best views from a uh, swimming pool is a toss up between this one and Hen and Crystal Sands. Now, the one at Crystal Sands is you get a really beautiful view of the ocean, but you're right close to it. This one, you'll back a bit so you get a more panoramic view of Boracay. So I think they're both beautiful views. This place comes alive late afternoon where you can get some awesome views of the setting sun. Perfect to enjoy drinks with friends. Look at that view, just to die for. Cheers. Cheers. What better way to end the day than like this? Downstairs here they have an Italian restaurant with a brick oven for pizzas. They also serve up some other delicious Italian dishes. Let's check out the rooms. Hi, welcome home. Welcome to Discovery Shores. So today I'll be showing you one of our suites. This is what we call the one bedroom suite premiere. So this one's a loft style room with a living area on the ground floor. You can walk out on this balcony and you'll get some wonderful views of the pool. Obviously depending on where your room's located. So just to show you the amenities of our room. So over here we have your complimentary Nespresso capsules and tea and still water. These are all replenished once a day upon request. On top of the day bed, we have your sanitary care kits, your welcome bag, and sunblocks. Sanitary care kits consist of alcohol, wet wipes, and extra face masks if you need one. And of course, we have a welcome banner for you as well. So it comes with two bathrooms. There's a vanity in front of the bathroom, and as you walk in, one side is a, the toilet and the other side is the shower. So next is I'll be showing you your bedroom upstairs. Okay. This is your bedroom. You have a king-size bed and you have a washroom beside it. The window here had a partial view of the ocean, and there's also a wardrobe. The bathroom is, was pretty much the same as the one downstairs, so what I said applies there. All right, next I'll be showing you our jacuzzi facing the ocean view. Obviously the highlight of this room is the jacuzzi. Just look at that. Who said money can't buy love? This overlooks the ocean that you can see behind me. Hopefully later on I'll get some good colors for some photos for when the sun sets. But it's, it's just perfect. Like all I need is a beer and a girl and I'd be in heaven. If you want to impress someone, this is the way to do it. At sunset, it's just a magical time to sit in the jacuzzi. It was just breathtaking with the sunset colors in the background. Even looking back at the resort at night, it just looks so beautiful here. This is the junior suite, which is actually their leading room. Without the jacuzzi, it doesn't quite have the wow factor of the one bedroom suite premiere though. They come in either two double beds or one king. They're a little bit smaller in size than the one I just showed you, but I still think quite spacious. I had the one on the ground floor that looked out towards the pool. Again, it's a nice, good contemporary looking room. The same facilities as the other rooms. Overall, a top, top place to stay in Boracay. Looking at the website, you can see their rates. Not cheap for sure, but you are paying for one of the best resorts in Boracay. When you book directly, you have the options to add add-ons. When I checked the guide, it was a little bit cheaper, but you don't have the options to purchase those add-ons. Overall, one of the best resorts to stay in Boracay. Luxurious, it's stylish, it's slick, and it's just a classy place to stay. And that gorgeous beach out the front, ooh la la. Definitely have a look into it. It was really difficult to choose between the number two and number one resort, as I could have gone either way. Each are amazing in their own unique way. So you can't go wrong. But in order to make this video, I'm putting this one at number two by just a millimeter. So here I am at Shangri-La Boracay, one of the most amazing resorts you can stay here in Boracay. It's located at Station Zero at the top of Boracay. Staying here, you're in for pure decadence. Starting from its gorgeous looking pool, it just looks fantastic. The mix of colors of blue, green and yellow, it just works really well. From the pool, it leads you to the beachfront. Now these chairs and tables here set up behind me are just perfect for having a drink or eating while the sun sets over here in the west. 
picture perfect that you see on a glossy travel magazine. They also have another infinity pool to one side of the beach and that too just looks amazing. Just sit in the pool and admire the scenery. So behind me is one of their two beaches here. This one's probably the main one because it's near everything, but it's just gorgeous as you can see behind me. So like over at the Crimson, the sand is not as fine as at White Beach, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Down the cliff is one of their beach villas and I think they go for about 130,000. So if you've got that much cash lying about, got the best view in the house here. The good thing also, it's not very crowded here on this beach, as I've mentioned before about Station Zero. If Dorothy was here, she'd never want to go back to Kansas. And if you're on a laze and do nothing by a picture perfect beach, those lounges are calling your name. There's a beach bar here to enjoy refreshing beverages. So behind me is their second cove, a beautiful, stunning looking beach. Now the buildings there that you can see behind me, the first ones are their suite rooms and the lower and then above are their treehouse villas. So if you want to do some water sports, they've got kayaks, stand up paddle, and they've got one of those cats at the back there. On their second beach cove, there's a lot more space to enjoy stuff like water sports. With the great weather, I was even tempted to go out. So try out some of their water sports. It's just so much fun to get out there on the ocean. You can just sit back and admire the views. Highly recommended. I was here in March, so the waters tend to be more calmer at this time of year, as you can see. If you really want to get into it, try out their hobby cat. That's a lot of fun, but you will need to reserve Behind me here is the Shangri-La's own pier, so they offer transfers from here to the mainland at Cataclan. So if you want to bypass all the tricycles and all that and come direct to the resort, this is the way to do it. If you want to get romantic, you can set up a special dinner by the ocean. If you want to pamper yourself, they've got a fantastic spa here. It just looks really impressive. For entertainment, they have a games room with many options like pool table, table tennis, and there's even a gym. Food too here is top notch as you would expect from the Shangri-La brand. And there's a number of restaurants to eat at. Their buffet breakfast is one of the best on the island with a great spread. You will be spoiled with a variety to choose from. Lots of fresh fruits, even sushi. Lots of hot dishes, pastries, breads, as well as a chef to cook your omelet to your style. Just look at all those delicious dishes. Even fussy eaters should find something that they like here. After eating the hearty breakfast, you may want to consider hitting the gym for a while. Looking at the rooms, wait until you see the villa shortly. This is the deluxe room. It's a nice comfortable room, although dated, but that's all I can really fold about it. It's clean and a good size. It comes with a bathtub and shower in the bathroom. And overall, it's just a really nice room. This is the deluxe sea view that has a balcony overlooking the ocean, which obviously comes with a better view than you get from the standard deluxe. This is the treehouse suite room and as you can see the views from outside the window are just spectacular this is easily the best views i've ever had from a hotel or resort window even the bathtub here has awesome views it comes with the standard amenities as you would expect nice sized bedroom very spacious heading upstairs is a living area on the balcony here is what you really come for they have this beautiful jacuzzi so how good is this? I've got the jacuzzi here, the ocean there, just looks amazing. The sun is going to set over there, so I'm going to set it up for that. Ah, this is paradise. Got the sunset behind me. It's just beautiful here. Your butler in the morning will make your breakfast. I just wish someone could do that for me every day. And I've left the best for last, the pool villa. So you have your own personal butler that looks after you, you can just call them if you need them. I mean the place is even bigger than my apartment. So this is the huge living area. It's just pure luxury. In the living area you've got the tea and coffee making facilities including an espresso machine, there's a comfortable sofa and chairs to unwind in. And in the separate room you've got the bedroom here. It's a nice sized bedroom. They both have huge windows to overlook your garden area and the pool. At the back of the bedroom is the wardrobe for storage. Across here we've got the actual bathroom. Again, beautiful marble basins, bathtub, and there's a separate shower. They even set up the bath with flowers. They've got all the toiletries. And if that's not enough, you've got an outdoor shower. 
If you want to indulge yourself in pure decadence, this is the most incredible villa I've ever been to, and also the most expensive. It's all privately enclosed, so you can relish it all by yourself, or your partner. Where you can feel like the king or queen, even if it's only temporarily. Lush garden with the pool over here. What more could you want? It's so peaceful here as well. You can hear the running water from the pool. You've got this garden area. I'll try and do a 360, just relaxing. I'm lost for words. It's one to put on your bucket list. As for the room rates, it is pricey as you expect. And the rates have been steadily increasing this year as the Philippines has opened up the tourism. If you can afford it, it's definitely worth staying. You'll never forget it. So coming in at number one is this one, Crimson. And why? Let's find out. Welcome to Crimson Resort. This resort is also located at Station Zero. So this is a private coast, so basically you just got the guests at the resorts using this beach. In front of me here is the Moven Peak. And on that peninsula there is part of the um, Shangri-La. So you've got three luxury resorts all along this little coast area. The beach area is nicely set up with the umbrellas and lounge chairs. As you can see, it looks very impressive. The colours in the waters are just mesmerising. As I mentioned before, Station Zero is a lot quieter area. So the beach isn't quite as fine as over at White Beaches. We've got the small grains of the corals still in here. But nonetheless, it's still a beautiful beach. And the waters here just look beautiful on a good day. The resort also has some water sports like kayaking. This resort has three swimming pools, two up here and one down near the beach. But these ones up here have fantastic views of the ocean, if you can see that behind me. I think I could just sit here all day and just admire the scenery of the ocean. You can order drinks and laze around under the umbrellas. And this is just picture perfect. So behind me is the infinity swimming pool. It's just got a fantastic view of the ocean there in the back with good weather like this. Just looks fabulous. This is the main pool by the beach and obviously the most popular. On the weekend, they had this awesome foam party it was a real hit with the guests. It's fun for all ages. Lots of people taking photos for their social media to make their friends and family jealous. They told me that the foam is actually environmentally safe as well. There's also a kids pool. Other facilities include a spa and a gym. I nearly forgot to mention they do have a regular schedule to the D Mall. Welcome to Saffron Cafe. As for food, they have three restaurants. All the food I tasted was just delicious. Enjoy the best croissant in the island. The morning buffet at the Saffron was excellent. I'm kind of tossing up whether this one or the buffet at the Shangri-La is the best on the island. But I'm kind of swayed more towards the Crimson just a little bit. Bottom line is they're both fantastic buffet breakfasts. So you can't really go wrong here. You're sport by such a variety of dishes as well as being totally delicious. Also one night by the beach they set up a buffet with live music. A really nice touch. The food was good, particularly the barbecue food. It wasn't overly huge by any means. It was just good to be outside under the stars by the ocean. And I recommend doing that if they have one when you're staying. It is also possible to organize your own special dinner by the beach. This is the menu at the Saffron Cafe. The Azua has a pool bar for drinks and behind is their restaurant. Those Thai grilled prawns with a papaya salad just took me back to Thailand. Oh my God, so good. The other dishes I tried were equally as good. Now, if you're staying in one of the villas, you can take your breakfast here. It's a semi-buffet with one breakfast choice and the rest is a buffet style. It's also possible if you don't want to have this, just to have your normal buffet at the Saffron Cafe. The selection of dishes is not as large, but it's also a lot less busy. I think either one is fine, but if I was starving, I'll probably have the buffet at the Saffron. Here's a copy of the lunch menu at this restaurant. So when you're looking at the rooms, the rooms with the sea views up there, particularly in the dry season, it's definitely worth considering paying the extra to get the sea view because as you can see, the waters look amazing. It's beautiful to wake up every morning to see that, I can tell you. So the leading room is the deluxe. This is the one with the sea view. It's a modern, clean looking room and it either comes in two double beds or one king. 
The bathroom comes with a shower and bath. It has a small balcony that overlooks the ocean. The suite room will obviously give you more room with 55 square meters. Good sized bathroom again with a tub and a separate rain shower. It has a separate living area which is nice and comfortable. There's a large comfortable sofa. Also in the living area had a mini bar and 10 coffee making facilities. Looking into the bedroom, again it was spaciously set out and a nice bed. The suite had two TVs, one in the bedroom and one in the living area. All nice and new, just looks very classy. Let me give you a quick guided tour of this amazing villa. You're just gonna blow you away. So firstly, it's got its own coffee machine, so. Oh, that's good. And that's one of three TVs that they have here. So we walk us through the living area. So it's 85 square meters in size with a spacious living area. So here, this is the outdoor plunge pool. Then the bathroom is just massive. You've got the toilet there and you've got the shower there. And then if you want something more relaxing, you've got the bathtub here with the scrubs and the jowls, just to pamper yourself. And then there's another TV there to watch while you're having your bath. And then if we walk into the bedroom, again, it's massive. You've got a, a view of the swimming pool and the beach. And then you've also got a, another view of the plunge pool over here. Just an amazing villa, 55 inch TV. What more could you want? If you want to splurge, this is the villa to go for. If you're comparing this with the villa at the Shangri-La, it's not nearly as good but then again, you're also not paying as much. And you get one of these crimson hats. Watch out, girls. And if you get tired of that, you've got just through the gate here, the beach and the main pool. So if you're staying in one of these pool villas, you can also organize one of these floating breakfasts that you can see behind me. It's 4,500 plus, 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 which works out to be 5,200 or something like that. You can also order it with sparkling wine, which is 8,000 plus, 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 plus. So I'm just gonna get out into my Speedos and let's check it out. And in reality, it's not very practical for eating the whole tray wobbles when you're trying to cut. So damn you, you Instagram influencers. Good for photos. And that's about it. Having said that, it's a really nice breakfast, although pricey. The windows are tinted, but you can still see through just so I wouldn't advise walking around <laughs> naked. If you want to view, these are the villas to go for. So on the Crimson's website, you can check out room and villa rates. Taxes are added when you click on the room. And if you book direct with them, you're offered the extra add-ons if you want, like that floating breakfast I mentioned before. So it's comparing the two resorts, the Crimson is a lot cheaper than the Shangri-La. I like the contemporary look to the place. The staff I felt was a little bit better at the Crimson. The Shangri-La rooms are a little older, but that villa is just amazing, but at a price. The Shangri-La is a larger resort as well. The Shangri-La is a lot more green, it's more garden area. So I think that's a good touch. The Crimson feels more concrete. So I'll lay it down to you what ultimately you want from your stay in Boracay. Bottom line is they're all awesome and that includes the Discovery Shores as well. Any of those three resorts I wouldn't hesitate to stay at. All excellent resorts. Now as a bonus I wanted to show you some resorts and hotels that didn't quite make the top 10 list but I highly recommend. As we're up here and today I'm checking out Villa Camela, a boutique resort here in Boracay Station 3. So it's down over here. A bit quieter area of White Beach. Enjoy a refreshing welcome drink as you check in. I love the front restaurant by the beach. It's beautifully set up to take in the views. Relax with a drink and enjoy paradise. It's noting that this resort doesn't have a swimming pool, but you're just meters away from the beach. In the lobby, there's a gift shop and there's also an ATM. The bar restaurant makes some great drinks. Or if you just want to chill with a coffee, it's pretty good too. So you can sit back Enjoy watching the beach and forget about the rat race for a while. Recharge your batteries. I also enjoyed the food here. For breakfast, they do actually have healthy options as well. And here's a menu for your reference. The hotel has 39 rooms. The first room I stayed at was right at the back of the resort and up some steep steps. It was a small but cozy room. And it was actually one of the few places I stayed in Boracay that was carpeted. All the standard amenities were included 
The view from the window was a bit ordinary though. The bathroom was small, other than that, everything was fine. But if I was to stay here again, I would stay at one of these superior deluxe rooms, just for the extra space and the comfort. The rooms are nice and clean, although nothing amazing. The bathroom again was larger, so a bit nicer than the standard deluxe. The second room I stayed here was their executive suite up some stairs again. This one was obviously more spacious. It was the same type of feel of the room with a common decor. It came with a couch and also a little table and chairs. It has this large outdoor area with I caught a semi view of the beach. The bathroom also had an added bathtub as well in the room. Other than being a little bit bigger, it was the same as the other bathroom. So here are the rates on their website. You can also book through third party sites. Overall, a good resort. The rooms do look a tad dated, but overall comfortable. Good restaurant at the front in a quiet area of Station 3. Hey guys, Rob here and today I'm checking out a new resort here in Boracay. It's called Kaeya and it was only opened in April of 2022. This resort is actually out of the way a bit, so you will need transport to get to and from. And secondly, there's not a lot around in the immediate area, so transport is a must here. So this is the Infinity Swim Pool, which overlooks the ocean, just gorgeous. Now, today isn't such a great day. It's quite windy today, so it's a bit choppy out there. You can snorkel, and I hopefully maybe tomorrow morning I'll get a chance to snorkel out there. But I'll show you some other video I took the other day around this area. It looks beautiful when the winds aren't so strong. She called Ill Illigan Beach. It's beautiful here. The water looks gorgeous in the sun. There's not many tourists around. Beautiful colours, it's clean. It is a bit wavy, it's not as calm as on the other side of the island because of the winds are blowing on this side at this time of year. Adjacent to the pool is a resort's restaurant. From the food I tasted, the food was not too bad. I just love the views you get from this restaurant and the fresh breezy air coming through. If you're interested, here's a copy of the menu. The place actually gives me a feeling of walking down a street in Europe. Now, welcome to the deluxe room. As you can see, it's all brand spanking new. It was only open in 2022 here. This is the kitchen area. It's got a microwave here, and it's also got a cooktop just down here. There's also tea and coffee, snacks, and mini bar. And behind me, we've got the living area, and then the bedroom, and bathroom over there. The room size was okay for two people with a couch and TV in the living area. The bedroom was clean, contemporary looking, cable TV, a wardrobe for your stuff and a safe. The bathroom as well was nice and modern. The balcony supposedly got a sea view but that's a bit of a stretch. So this room is the premier suite. Pretty much the same in looks as to the deluxe room, just a larger room. The bathroom also had a bathtub. Want a room with full view of the ocean. You have to go for the penthouse here. Upstairs it opens up to a huge room with a large kitchen and living area. As this is at the front of the resort, you have the best views of the beach. They also have a jacuzzi out on the balcony. The kitchen comes with a large fridge, cooking facilities, and good for long term. Down the corridor is the three bedrooms and two bathrooms. This is the first bedroom and the first bathroom. This is the second bedroom. This one's the master bedroom. And as you can see, the bathroom here had a bathtub as well, and just a larger bathroom. You can check their website for more details on the resort, as well as room rates. You can also book on third party sites. Overall, it's an up and coming place in Boracay if you want to stay away from the crowds. Just keep in mind the transport issue. Welcome to Mandela Villas and Spa. Let's check it out. This is another luxury resort at Station 3. So if you're looking to pamper yourself, behind me is the spa. Hi everyone, I'm Johnny Lee. I am the spa receptionist here in Mandela. And here in Mandela, we have the four villas. One of our villas, especially the villa one, is the biggest one. We can accommodate three persons there because there's a sauna inside and there's a bath inside as well. All right, so welcome to the villa two. And this is our massage area, massage tables. All right, so after the body treatment, actually, you can take your shower to rinse the ingredients of your body. After the shower, you will be having the bath. 
It depends actually for you if you will be couple, you can bath together or you can do one after another. Hi, um, actually our best popular massage here is the Hila Trilogy, which is the Filipino actually uh, traditional massage here. You need to choose the oils or the massage during your massage. We have the healing oil, the exotic, the relaxing and then the refreshing. This oil we use actually during the massage. I'm just having breakfast here this morning in the gazebo. It's outside. It's just peaceful and serene here. The food overall is pretty good. The restaurant wasn't open for dining when I stayed. So they're serving the food in the gazebo out in the garden, which was just perfect for me. It was just nice and peaceful. So down here are where the 12 villas are located in this lush greenery. Welcome to your villa. So welcome to the villa. First impressions is this nice, large size room here. It's a nice, spacious villa. It's very relaxing. You've got the calming music with the birds and all that. You feel like you're in a spa, just relaxing with a massage. Nice, fresh smell in here. They told me that the bedroom is inspired by Indian culture. And you can see the colors and all that. You've got the soft music with the birds. I just feel like I'm in a spa at the moment, so it's very relaxing to come in here. Well, hello, look what I found. My excitement's been dashed. Let me see the prices there. Into the bathroom. Now this is, is Italian inspired, they said. So in the bathroom, you've got a tub with <laughs> lots of flowers, if that's your thing. Outside is like a semi-outdoor shower. It's kind of covered, but this area is open. So here I am on the balcony, nice spacious balcony, and then over through the trees. Not sure I can see it on this camera, but you can see the ocean just between all the trees. So it's very green around here, lots of trees and bushes. It makes you feel like you're in a forest. Room's a little bit old and there's a little bit of wear and tear showing. It's very peaceful here and serene and a bit away from the action of down at the beach. And the beach is not all that far, it's only like a five minute walk. It is a bit of a hike through some houses though, but. You can book on their website or third party sites. It's a lovely place to unwind and relax in paradise. Although not quite as good as I'd hoped, so I didn't put in the top 10, but still pretty good. So I've got lots more videos coming up for places to stay in Boracay. There's still some really good resorts to show and some cheaper ones as well. Have a look on the videos on screen now to get some ideas on where to stay or what to do in the Philippines. In the meantime, till then, keep safe and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.